Now it's pear season. A lot of you are getting pear for two cities, three cities. And we all know that they go bad after a while. So we're going to learn different ways to add value to our pear, making really good nutritional meals while we're at it. So we have Chef Mary Tando from Danish Chef School to walk us through some guacamole and eggs on toast. If you have any questions throughout our demonstration, please use the hashtag Breakfast Daily. The WhatsApp line is 0550 If you're outside Ghana, please use the country code plus 233. You can tweet at me at Jifacity TV. Chef Mary, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, yeah, my pleasure. Now it's pear, aka avocado season. Yes. My favorite season ever. <laughs> uh, what are some of the nutritional benefits of avocados? Oh, um, apparently it contains more potassium than even banana. Wow. Yes, and then um, it has fiber. Okay. Yes, and um, it has folate nice. too in it. So yes. You have all the goodness that you need. Everything. Whenever pear is in season, I don't eat cheese, I don't eat butter. Like, this is all I use yes. on my bread. <laughs> what, what ingredients do we have today? To, yeah, to so make today we have avocado. Okay. We have um, eggs. eggs. Yes. Tomatoes, mm -hmm. diced onion, okay. and then chili flakes, nice. salt and pepper to taste. Okay. And then we give it a um, bit of lemon oil. Yes, mm -hmm. to it so that it doesn't go off all this color. Uh -huh. You know, avocado this color is. Yes, after a while. Yes. Okay. And then we have our toast. Okay, so if you're home, all mm -hmm. you need, just dice some onions, dice some uh, tomatoes, a little bit of pepper. If you have chili flakes, awesome. Mm -hmm. and a little bit of salt and green pepper and then your lemon yes that's please. all you need that's all. really simple clean ingredients mm -hmm. okay let's mm -hmm. get started okay so first i would let me know if you need help with anything sure. that's why i'm here thank you <laughs> and we washed our hands so we're clean yes i'm i'm going to dice the avocado, avocado. okay yeah. Like, I just love when avocado is in season just looking at it alone it <laughs> makes your day better it does so let me see here. Okay. Take this out for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I think this is not fully ripe, so I'm just going uh, to do half of it. Yes. Okay, so if you're home and it's too hard, don't ideally you should use the ones that are a bit softer. Eh? Yes. Okay. Put this here. See if I can find another soft one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is soft. A bit soft, yeah. Okay. Thank you. A bit soft. So usually, I, I usually do guacamole when I, my avocados are getting too soft. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what else to do with it. And then I fry some Thank uh, you. plantain, use it as a dip, or yes, spread you it on your bread in the dip. morning. Yes. Yeah. And of course, you can be creative. You see that one? When yes. it's soft and you open it, it's just beautiful. Um, I'm just going to scoop it out. Yes, I'm not that, that going just to makes dice. Life easier. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and when it, when it's soft, it's really easy to scoop everything out. Yes. Let's see. I think we have something in the back there. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just fine. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're good. So if you have avocados at home, just grab them out of the fridge. Um, divide them into two. Use a spoon. Scoop out all the meat. Uh, it's the first step. The more, the more avocados you have, the merrier. And this is a really healthy meal for Very healthy. morning. Is that, is that another soft one? I think yeah. That's soft. This, this one too is really soft. Okay. Thank you. I'm like the detect, detector <laughs> for soft, soft uh, avocado. <laughs> and again, it's an interactive segment. <laughs> so if you guys are watching us and you have any questions or contributions, yeah. Let us know. The hashtag is breakfast daily and our WhatsApp line is 0550585832. What have you guys been up to at Dana's Chef School? A lot. You know, we we have um, admission is on progress for six months. Okay. Almost all our courses anyway. Wow. Yeah. So okay. if you want to do both pastry and cookery, mm -hmm. we have a course for you as well. Nice. And it only takes a few weeks. Okay. Yes, then you'll, we, be, you'll at least know your way around exactly. and start your own thing. Yes, you know the basics in pastry and then... Okay. And, and, and where are you guys located again? We are at um, Spinters Road, mm -hmm. Basket Junction. Nice. We are in the same building with um, Motoken. Okay, nice. Okay. So we are done with our avocado. Just What's going to thing? mash. Okay. This is something fun you can do with the kids at home. I think 
if you're if you're a family and you're watching, you can get all the kids involved. Um, my uh, director Paula, unfortunately, just has a little puppy, so she won't be able to yeah. do that. But you know, she can grab her next door neighbor, and they can do it together. It's yes. really fun. So you mash it. Um, yes, I'm breaking okay. it down so that the mashing becomes easier, easier for, for me. you. Yeah. But if someone is home and they have tapu, the is that something? They Yes, even the What's potato the masher can do. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we can use our local instruments and we just yes. mash. Usually mash, but you don't forks. Do, you don't you, do it in the apotoyo though. You can just no, mash you know. it in here. Yes. Okay, okay. You can use the tapuli, as you said, in you your mixing bowl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, a friend of mine, Gifty, that's how she does it at home. She just takes a tapuli and then yeah, she and that's so. hits, 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 and then she yes. calls it a day and then she's done. If you have a potato masha too, you can, you can use, use that. that. Yes. Okay. Okay. But if you don't have all those things, no, no pressure. You can just use a spoon like we're doing. Mm -hmm. And you'll still achieve the same results. Yes. It just I like takes, it when there's a bit of chunk in there yeah. even so you can chew on it. It just takes a, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I can mash for you. Let me you can. help you with the mashing. <laughs> and then you let me know what we should add. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. Yeah, it's quite hard. So you're giving it salt to taste. Okay. And then usually I don't like too much onion. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do about three teaspoons. Mm -hmm. So three teaspoons of um, uh, onions that we've added. So added a bit of salt as well. Then we'll so put our diced on yeah. uh, tomatoes. But tomatoes are almost tomatoes. going out of season, eh? I went, I went to the market uh, over the weekend and I was like, hey. Yeah, they are quite expensive. Yeah, right they're really expensive right now. So I guess I'm going to be eating more onions and <laughs> very little tomatoes. So, yeah. Give it a little pepper to green taste. Pepper, I mean, black, black pepper. pepper. <laughs> but is it okay to add green pepper to your, uh, oh, yeah, your guacamole sure. as well? Sure. Okay, because I usually pump a whole lot of green pepper in there. Now the magic ingredient. Lemon. Yeah. Going to squeeze out a little bit in there. Wow, it's beautiful. Just about two tablespoons. Okay, so you don't need too much of mm -hmm. it. Okay, it's awesome. And then our we last put ingredient, if you have, if you, flakes? yes, the chili flakes. Mm -hmm. That is, if you want chili, yeah, because it's quite because we hot. Are spicy. Yes. We are we, spicy. We we are spicy. We are spicy people. So <laughs> you have to add the pepper. Yeah chili flakes to it so and then that you're good. is it all right we are going to assemble now okay so now we're going to deal with our toast yes and if you have wheat bread um tea bread whatever you have at home yes you can Any type use of it bread. so as you can see here as we're showing you you can use it okay just you just spread it on top mm-hmm if you want more, you can add more. Wow, it's nice. And it's, it's, it's so healthy. I mean, because you're going to do your adobo, say this is all you need. You don't need all those <laughs> things that don't, that are supposed to be like butter, but they never go bad and they just sit there for years. Yes. They don't even melt. It's, it's so not good, but this is natural and it's so cheap. Very I went healthy. to the market, I got like five, pairs for like five cities and I, I was like wow it's it's really in season this is the time for us to take full advantage so that's why we are showing you guys this so that you know that you can make really great meals at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at an affordable price and for uh, those of you who might not have a toaster at home you can just uh, put it on your frying pan I do that all the time at home you just heat the frying pan up put the bread on it and then you press, then you get the toast effect. You don't have to uh, be rich to, to achieve this. Not all of us can afford a toaster, but we can still make really great uh, breakfast meals and, and, and enjoy with our families. <laughs> this, is, this is a whole uh, bowl of um, protein. Um, yes. so, so we're gonna- If you want a little bit of chili, you can still add some add more some? here. Wow. Just take a pick. Just take it all, and I'm gonna <laughs> move this thing from here so that our viewers can really appreciate. Oh yeah, we have to put it on the plate. Yes, eh? we Look will. Me <laughs> in there. Okay, let me do that. 
Yeah, hopefully I don't. Okay, let me let you do it so I don't mess up your beautiful designs <laughs> before I. Um, yeah, so put it on our plate because the presentation is just as important as the cooking. And if you go to Danish Chef School, I'll show you how to do the presentation as well. So here you go, your beautiful. <laughs> Uh, this is an open face sandwich. We yes, have our please. guacamole mm -hmm. and we have our boiled eggs. Yeah. And all the ingredients here are sourced locally. You can achieve this literally with a less than 10 city budget. You can yes, get one uh, pair for like one city or two cities. You get one egg for one city. Mm -hmm. You get your bread literally uh, in, in with six or seven cities. You have all of this goodness and uh, that will give you all the energy you need throughout the day any any more words for us uh, yes um you can take this for breakfast okay. it's actually a breakfast sandwich yes if you want a more um or a lunch sandwich you can add um chicken or something to it to okay. make it heavier, heavier. Okay. for you yes okay. and yeah eggs are great for breakfast anyway because they actually fill you up and then you don't um, have cravings yeah. throughout the day. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so. Walk us through the ingredients again, Chef. Um, avocados, mm -hmm. tomatoes, onion. Basically, that's uh, those are the ingredients. Mm -hmm. But if you want chili, you can add a bit of, or you want it to be spicy, you can mm -hmm. add a little bit of chili, okay. and then salt and pepper to taste. Wow. And then okay. um, boiled eggs. Then that's basically done. it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef. Where do we follow you on social media? Yes, on Instagram at Danish Chef School and then um, Facebook, Danish Chef School. Yes, and our telephone numbers are 0302, 0302, yes, yeah, sorry. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> 90, 90, 87, 8, 8, 8, 6, 8, 7. Okay. 0302 90 8, 6, 8, 7. Sorry. And then, it's um, on the screen as well, so don't uh, worry. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being with us, Chef. Thank you. I, I'd usually taste this, but you know, this is something that, uh, you know, I'll taste it. It's okay. Let me let me let me let me taste this for you guys. I feel like you guys always see me tasting food, and you're just like, this girl loves her food too much. So let's see. Mm. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> I like how soft. I think we overmashed. I overmashed yeah. the guacamole, <laughs> but it's perfect. Um, and you know, you get to pair your egg, and then you're good to go. I'm gonna go for a quick break while I finish this sandwich, and then <laughs> we'll continue the show.